Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use green screen for your live streaming. So if you do personal live streaming and you don't really have like a cool background or the place where you are live streaming in is not looking nice, you can use green screen and take out that green screen and put yourself in a virtual background so that your video looks clean. So I'm gonna go through the whole setup starting with uh, setting up the green, self, uh, the green screen itself and also the lighting situation and also go inside the software and show you some of the settings that you need to do in order for you to get a perfect green screen. So without wasting time, let's start with uh, setting up the green screen itself. All right. Setting up the green screen, I'm just gonna use this cloth. This is just a green cloth that I bought uh, and it is the cheapest, but if you have some cash, you can get something professionally from the shops. So I'm gonna start by making a frame. Then the one thing that you really want to do when you are setting up your green screen is make sure that it doesn't have wrinkles, it doesn't have uh, creases on the cross. So make sure you try to even it so that it is straight. So I'm going to use these clamps to make sure I hold the cloth in place. All right, I think this is looking cool. All right, so this is what it looks like. Uh, don't worry about these other ends that are not really like green because I just set it up where I'm going to sit. All right, so when you are setting up your green screen, in order for you to make sure that you have a perfect key when you remove the green screen, make sure you don't really have other lights casting it on the green screen itself. Make sure the green screen is lit properly and also you don't have other forms of light. You can see in my studio, I have all these other pl uh, practical lights. All these practical lights, I will need to switch them off so that, because I'm still gonna put myself in a virtual background anyways. So other lights that are not necessary, that might cast a certain, uh, a certain dimension of light on your screen so that your, your screen doesn't come out perfectly, just take them off. So I'm just gonna switch off these practical lights. And then the next thing is to make sure that the green screen is lit properly. So as you can see, uh, this side, it's not really like, there isn't really enough light. So I'm gonna just turn that light to make sure that it lights me as well as lighting the green screen properly. All right, so uh, the green screen is lit properly. And now what we are going to do is to open the software so that I can show you how you can remove the green screen. So I'm, I'm gonna open vMix. And then I'm gonna go to add input. And then I'm gonna go to camera. Then I'm gonna go camera, I'm gonna add the black magic. And then press okay. So you can see our feed in the computer. So in order for us to remove the green screen, I'm just gonna go to the input itself and then click on this setting icon here. And then in the settings window, I'm gonna go to position first. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna crop out these other parts that doesn't have green screen. So I'm gonna go to the X there and crop this side just like that. And then I'm gonna go to uh, the crop X2 and crop this side like that. All right, after it is cropped like that, you can see um, the green screen is perfect, right? Then I'm gonna go to the color key and then check this button here and then select this eyedropper and select anywhere where there's green. All right, and then whenever I'm doing green screen key, in vmix i normally use preset number two it gives the cleanest output so i'm gonna select number two you can see now i have been keyed out very well all right and then i'm gonna back out from there so i no longer have like a, 
a screen. So let's add a background now. So I'm gonna go to add input and then I'm gonna go to virtual set. And then I'm gonna click the blank, the one that is blank and then click okay. And then I'm gonna go to my computer and uh, look for my background. So uh, when you preview these backgrounds, you can see I have like really cool backgrounds, you can see. So I had to put them in the editing software and add a little bit of blur to fake that uh, I was using a faster camera which has got a, you know, shallow depth of field. So uh, I don't really like using the background like the way they are, like so sharp. I like to blur them a little bit like this so that at least it looks like I was using a camera. All right, so I'm gonna select the ones that I edited and making sure that uh, you can see these other backgrounds here. Like uh, the format, it's like a four by three. So make sure you put them in another software and make uh, crop them to full HD so that at least vMix will recognize them as full HD. All right, so I'm gonna import um, a few of these backgrounds that I created already. I just drag them and drop them in the computer like that. And then I'll go to my settings here. I'll go to the setup and then I'll choose background here where it's background. And then I'm gonna put one of these backgrounds. So let me say uh, the first one. So that is the background. And then I'm gonna go to layer again and then layer number one, I'm gonna input myself, which is this black magic. So just like that, I have a cool background uh, at my back. So I can just transition it and there we are. Really cool stuff. So you can actually really live stream using a virtual background. So I'm on a green screen right now and you can see the background is good. And if I don't like this background, I can change to another background. So I'll just go to the setup and then layer on the background, I can come here and choose another background, maybe uh, this one. It looks cool. And then maybe let me add another one, maybe this one. Yeah, this is the one that I wanted. So you can see it looks so real and this is how you can live stream using green screen. You can see at my back here, the studio looks great. You know, this will, this will really help you if you don't have like a, a cool setup where you can do your live stream. And uh, with regards to other stuff that you might want to include in your broadcast, uh, how to add text, how to add comments, how to add graphics and other stuff, you'll find everything in the main course. Or if you are watching this video in the main course, I'm sure you already know how to add those things by now. I'll see you in the next video. This is it, peace.